it's Mr. Eli here, and today, I might look a little crusty today, like, you know, that's a bit of a thing, but today I'm going to talk to you about something, uh, pretty fun. So, today I'm going to tell you guys how, because as you know, like, I'm, I, I, you might know, you might not, but I'm a huge Detroit sports fan, and I'm a huge fan of Matthew Stafford for the Lions, hence, you know, I have my hat right here. Yeah, well, point being... The Lions, like, if they had the right proper management, they could have won a Super Bowl with Stafford. Why? I'm going to explain you. So, the team, like, they had players, and there was players in previous drafts that they could have gotten, giving the Lions a Super Bowl win. But what was the main reason? The simple question is, they didn't have the linemen. Now, a lot of people don't know this, or if they do know this, kudos to them. But football, I know you got your quarterbacks and your wide receivers, tight ends. Those guys, you know, make it fun. But winning the game, that, that's all the linemen's work. Linemen win football games. That's why the Tampa Bay Buccaneers won the Super Bowl in 2020. Yeah, that's why, they, that's why the Buccaneers won the Super Bowl in 2020, because they had the best defense. With that being said, if they got the best defense, it's going to be hard to get Brady. So, yeah, point being, it was hard to get Brady because he had a good offensive line. Now, the Lions in the 2010, 2011, 2012 era, they didn't have the linemen they needed. I mean, they had Ndamukong Sue, pretty good defensive guy, but I'm mostly looking at offensive linemen, not defensive linemen. And the offensive linemen that they had were... A bitch dog shit. And it wasn't until they got Frank Ragnar, Taylor Decker, and Panay Sewell that they were able to have, like, a bit of a cornerstone. That that was, like, two years ago. Like, that's been, like, a recent work that they've been doing. Now, the last reason, it's a bit of a controversial one, but very true to the Lions fans. So, the two playoff appearances that Stafford had with the Lions, well, three technically, but yeah, the three playoff appearances Stafford had with the Lions... It ended up, you know, they ended up getting cheated out of all three of them. First one, they played up against the Cowboys, and the refs were, call, were basically putting bullshit calls against them. Second time, went up against Green Bay, same thing. The third time, Green Bay again. Now, normally, I don't have a problem with Green Bay. The only problem I do have with Green Bay is the fact that they get all the calls. And let's be real, Rodgers has not won... Uh, an NFC, champ an NFC championship games ever since 2013 or, or whenever he won that Super Bowl. But yeah, he started losing NFC championships ever since 2014. But yeah, be besides that point, the Lions just got cheated out of their two wild card Super Bowl, wild card playoff appearances, which wasn't fair for them and ended up put being a sore heart to a lot of Lions fans. And it's definitely true. Now, has it all been bad for Stafford? No, he recently won a Super Bowl, as a matter of fact. But what about the Lions as a team? There is a good future for them. With, you know, a super, an up-and-coming superstar running back, DeAndre Swift, a safety blanket with TJ Hawkinson, a up-and-coming uh, really good cornerback. I'm, 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 I'm just going to put a, a photo of him right there. I, I'm not trying to try to butcher his name. But point being... Uh, they got pieces, and as well as a brick wall in Panay Sewell, Frank Ragnar, and Taylor Decker. So, it's all good, and if things go as good as we hope, uh, they can be winning a Super Bowl soon.